Hi, welcome to Inspire DIY. My name is Max, and today I'm going to be showing you the installation of this particular booster fan into my new grow room setup. I'm going to be switching over from the soil base to hydroponic very soon, and uh, I decided to pick up this booster fan because I read that it's rated 100 CFM, uh, and in my particular case, would be sufficient, although some people said it's not a, a real um, 100 CFM cubic feet per minute. In my particular case, I already did the measurements and my room is around 6 feet by 5 by 6, you know, adding up all together and with a consideration that I'm not using a carbon filter and the this ventilation duct is not going to be that long. I think it will work fine for me. However, if you're growing something that needs a carbon filter or like specifically like in a, a grow tent setup, then you might need something more than a booster fan. But I'm going to give it a try anyway and let you guys know how well it works. Also, for my particular setup, it's going to be an open grow room with a passive intake air coming to the room. And then this booster fan will basically exhaust all the, the hot air out. And I think that should work pretty well. I'm going to be hanging, hooking the strips and then hanging it onto the exhaust fan onto this wall. And run the, the duct ventilation all the way around this wall and then coming down to here and then exhausting out. All right, so I just finished the installation and I just want to show you guys what it looks like and probably go on from there. So basically, I got this booster fan set up here and it runs through, this is a 16 feet dryer uh, duct. So it runs through the top. I basically, you probably saw in the, the time lapse that I just put the picture hanger wires and then the, these hooks right underneath here and run it along the wall right behind here as well. So I have another one right here and another one here and that's probably good enough for me because I'm just going to route it down all the way to the bottom. I'm using 16 feet here but actually I think it would work a lot better if I run it all the way. I, if I have gotten a 25 feet one and then run it all the way to the window on the other side like it's a bit dark because it's at night but basically I have a window just outside into the living room. I could hit behind a sofa. Unfortunately I thought that it wasn't a good idea because I'm using this booster fan that's only 100 CFM and it wouldn't be strong enough so uh, it came out a little bit shorter than I expected but I am gonna I, I don't want to reinstall the whole thing obviously so I'm gonna use this and give it a try I'm probably not gonna upload this video just yet because I'm gonna be starting to grow seeds and then see how it performs first and then give you guys the overall uh, reviews of this uh, booster fan and whether it even works in this setup also I'm in contact with the manufacturer to, to get the NFT channels in here, so I'm gonna have it running here. Maybe a Dutch bucket for all the hydroponics. So, I already got a new lighting setup that's like a 1500 watt that they use it like commercially, so that's gonna be really good and that's gonna be upcoming. All right, uh, see you back in probably like two weeks. All right, uh, I just want to show you guys with an update to this project. So, I got it installed here, the booster fan, and it's running at probably around 70 to 80 percent um, speed, and I'm actually using this fan control like variable speed thing the other fan uh, yeah so i use this uh, i got it from aliexpress because it's way too noisy to run at a full capacity so i, I kind of recommend it if you guys want to do an indoor grow room setup and it got this reflector as well so that when i have the whole light installation here it would be basically reflecting off the lights and insulate everything and i also got rid of my entire shelves that i used to have because i contacted the supply on alibaba and decided to get a whole nft and dutch bucket hydroponic setup so these are all the seeds i have left i'm growing and i'm simply just waiting for for it to grow and then transplant it out and just clear up this entire room for the setup and as far as the booster fan, it seems to be working pretty well. Although I'm honestly I'm growing at like a twenty per like less than twenty percent capacity, so I can't really say for sure. Maybe I'll do a future updates on how well it works. But as far as I'm concerned, it does not generate any powdery mildew, and I can tell, I can feel that it helps to exhaust a bit of hot air out, which is what you want to do. And like I said, that this is an open grow room, so if you have a a grow tent or in like a closed grow room, I don't think. 100 CFM booster fan would be sufficient for your usage. So that's just to answer the question that you've probably been curious about. Overall, this was a really fun project and I'll keep you 
guys update on future projects when I have all these hydroponic ideas, you know, all set up and everything. Thanks very much for watching.